Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. This lab is the second of our labs focusing on NAT, Network Address Translation. This time we will configure Dynamic NAT. Unlike Static NAT, which creates a one-to-one -one translation from an inside address to an outside address, Dynamic NAT dynamically assigns addresses as needed from a pool of outside addresses that you configure beforehand. This is much more efficient than Static NAT. In this lab, we will use Dynamic NAT to translate private IP addresses in the 192.168.1.0/24 network to public IP addresses in the 1.2.3.0/24 network. This lab uses the same topology as the previous lab, and once again, RIP has been pre-configured so that all points in the network should be reachable. Once again, however, I have configured ACLs on the routers blocking private addresses from being routed over the serial connection between them, which simulates the internet. Let's ping from PC1 to Server1 just to confirm that PC1 cannot reach Server1. Ping 1.1.1.100. As expected, the ping fails. So, let's configure dynamic NAT on R1. First, I'll configure the inside and outside interfaces. Enable conf t interface G00 IP NAT inside interface S030 IP NAT outside exit. Dynamic NAT involves a few extra steps beyond static NAT. We have to create an ACL which we use to identify the inside addresses that we will translate. We also have to create a NAT pool, which is the range of outside addresses we will translate our inside addresses to. First, let's create the access list. Keep in mind, this use of an ACL is different than how we previously used it. Before, we used ACLs to block or allow traffic from entering or exiting an interface. This time, however, we will use an ACL to identify which traffic we want to translate. Traffic which is permitted by the ACL will be translated. Traffic which is denied by the ACL won't be blocked, it simply won't be translated. So let's create a standard ACL which permits the 192.168.1.0/24 network. Access list 1, permit 192.168.1.0.0.0.255. That's it. The implicit deny any at the end of the ACL will prevent traffic from outside of the 192.168.1.0/24 network from being translated. Next, let's create the NAT pool. To do so, use this command, IP NAT pool followed by the pool name. I'll use pool1. Then we enter the first address in the range of addresses we want to include in this pool, which is 1.2.3.10, according to our instructions. Next, we put the last address in the range, 1.2.3.20. Next, we type net mask, followed by the subnet mask, which is 255.255.255.0. So our command is IP NAT pool, pool 1, 1.2.3.10, 1.2.3.20, .2 netmask 255.255.255.0. Okay, our pool is now configured. Finally, let's configure NAT itself. The command starts the same as with static NAT. IP NAT inside source. Now with static NAT, we use IP NAT inside source static. However, for dynamic NAT, we will use IP NAT inside source list, followed by the name or number of our ACL, which is 1, then pool, followed by the pool name, which is pool1. So our command is IP NAT inside source list1 pool pool1. Our dynamic NAT configuration is now complete. I'll go on each PC and quickly ping server1. 
Then go on R1 to check the translations. On PC1 first. Ping 1.1.1.100. Okay, next I'll go on PC2 and ping server 1, ping 1.1.1.100. Okay, and next I'll go on PC3, ping 1.1.1.100.1 okay, now let's go on R1 to check these translations. Exit. To check the NAT translations, use this command, show IP NAT translations. Notice at the top the terms inside global, inside local, outside local, outside global. We want to focus on inside global and inside local. Inside global is the addresses we translated to in the 1.2.3.0 slash 24 subnet. And inside local is the original private IP address range in the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 subnet. Note that the number after the colon in these IP addresses indicates a port number. Here is 192.168.1.11 PC1 and the address it was translated to. Here is 192.168.1.12 PC2 and the address it was translated to. And here is 192.168.1.13, PC3, and the address it was translated to. If you want to clear all of these dynamic translations, use this command. Clear IP NAT translation, followed by an asterisk. Okay, now let's do that show command one more time. Show IP NAT translations. There we go. Our translations are cleared. We have successfully configured dynamic NAT. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT, or Basic Attention Token, donations in the Brave browser.